Hi everybody, welcome back. Now a few videos ago I did a video on how to drain down your caravan. In that video I used a bit of kit called the Flow and it uses air to push out the water out of the taps. Now in that video I mentioned that I was going to sterilise the caravan's pipework and indeed I am. And I've had lots of questions about the best way and the best products to use about sterilising the taps and the pipes and the aqua rolls etc. The whole water system in fact. So I thought today, well, why don't I show you how we're going to sterilise the water system ready for another clean season. Now this is the end of the season, admittedly, but we don't really stop. We carry on caravanning right throughout the winter. So this is as good as time as any to sterilise the water system. In fact, we do it twice a year. We do it at the end of the summer, beginning of autumn, and we also do it in the springtime as well. So we do it twice a year and it keeps the pipework nice and clean. Now, unlike many people I have seen, we actually use our water system. We actually drink from our taps. I see no reason not to. Um, it just makes it far more convenient, to be honest with you. And uh, we've had no problems with it. We don't get any nasty taste. We've certainly never caught any bugs from our water system. So it means that whatever we're doing seems to be doing okay, seems to be doing the right way. And uh, yes, that's us all sorted. So first of all, let's go through some of the products that we use to sterilize the system. There is two trains of thought here when dealing with sterilization. Some people will say use Milton because it's a sterilizing fluid and other people will say use PuraClean. Now there's a really good argument as to which one you should be using. The argument ultimately is you should be using PuraClean. Well, Milton actually can be corrosive to metal surfaces. It even says so on the back of the packet. Milton works best when it's operating on a clean surface. So it's ideal for sterilizing baby bottles or home brewing equipment. The other thing it will not do is it will not remove what's known as biofilm. If you go home and you put your finger inside a hose pipe, for instance, you can sometimes feel it's a bit slimy. Well, that is biofilm and this will not remove it. PuraClean, however, is specifically designed to do that. It both sterilizes and it cleans and it's designed for water tanks as well. So this is the product that we use and this is the one we've been using now for three years or since we've been caravanning. We've not had any problems with it. Let me show you how we use it. So the very first step we need to do is we need to fill our aqua roll. We're gonna be sterilizing the aqua roll, the pump, the pipework, the taps. We're gonna be sterilizing our whole fresh water system. So the first thing we need to do is fill our aqua roll right the way up and then we're gonna put the Pure Clean straight into the water. Now what I tend to do here is I fill the aqua roll up about halfway, add the chemicals in and then fill it right the way to the top. What dosage you need to use? Well, it's quite simple. It's uh, one teaspoon per four and a half liters of liquid. So for a full aqua roll, you're looking between eight and nine teaspoons. Personally, we go for the eight teaspoon dosage and that seems to work absolutely fine. So once it's all mixed up, give the aqua roll a good shake and leave it to rest for a couple of minutes for it to start dissolving and acting inside the aqua roll. Now, the next step you need to do is you need to obviously connect the aqua roll up as if you were going to fill up the caravan water from dry. But here's a crucial step. If you have a filter, like a charcoal based filter, we have one here, we've got Truma Ultraflow, and that has the charcoal based water filter, drop out any filters. Take them out from the system because this stuff will make the filters break down. So with the water hooked up to the caravan, the filter dropped out, the next step we need to do is pull water through the taps. So make sure that the drain down tap is closed, make sure your taps are closed, make sure your shower is closed as well, and then as per normal, just prime all the taps as if you were just arrived on site so that you have water throughout the system. If you've got a hot water tank, make sure that's nice and full as well, but don't switch on the hot water, leave it cold, that'll be absolutely fine. Start to then use the water through the system. So pour some water through the taps one by one so that everything is nice and wet. And then very simply, we're gonna let the system sit. Now the instructions on the packet here actually say soak between one and 12 hours. We personally leave it for four. We've not had any problems with that. What that gives us is enough time to run around and do some jobs around the outside. For instance, cleaning the caravan down, or if you have to glue the roof, clean the roof. But it gives you enough time to leave everything to soak. 
Now, once you've let the system rest, now's the time we need to start flushing through. So what we do is we use up the entire aqua roll through the taps. So I use it through the kitchen tap, the bathroom tap, and the shower. We're pulling all the water through all the taps just to pull out any biofilm. So once the aqua roll is all used up, what we need to do is refill the aqua roll once again. Now we're going to repeat this process two or three times. Um, it depends on how dirty the water was originally, how long you left it, and obviously how long you need to leave it standing for. Once you have pushed through two aqua rolls worth of water, about 80 litres, it's now time to see how the water tastes. So the first thing to do is just pour yourself a small glass, have a smell, see if it smells a little bit chemically. If it does, you probably need to put more water through the system. So another two aqua rolls worth of water will be fine. If it smells perfectly fine, have a small taste, see if you've got any acrid taste there as well. If that's all okay, then you're completely sterilised and you're all ready. If not, like I said, put more water through the system. Now, another great thing about doing it this way is that you can actually sterilize down your waste pipes as well. Because you're pulling water through your taps, you can push it through your wastewater system as well. And it may be a good idea to connect up your waste master or waste containers as well. That way you can clean out the inside of those at the same time. So once you are all clean and you're all sorted, obviously the next thing we need to do is to drain down the system once again. And as I said at the beginning of this video, I showed a video on how to drain down the water system completely. Do that and you'll be absolutely fine. And then of course not forgetting to replace any water softeners or water filters. We keep one of these in the caravan at all times just in case we need to replace it. But with this out the system, when you're sterilizing it, you'll have no issues at all. So replace a brand new one of these after sterilization and you're good to go for the season ahead. So that's it from us this week. So in conclusion, it's pure clean, it's not Milton, replace your filters, use lots of water in doing so, and you'll have no problems at all. And hopefully you'll be able to use your taps in your caravan like we've been doing for the past three years and you won't need to buy any bottled water. Any thoughts or any comments that you may have, let me know, put them down below. So that's it from us. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next week. Take care now, bye-bye.